Welcome to the fifth installment of Building a Battleship. You're watching From the Depth and Jimrism. And uh, today we're building this little battleship and uh, I did try and implement a little tip we got from Borderwise and putting some, uh, some of these on a turret. Uh, something I don't usually do but we can try that out. We do have some auxiliary ones uh, there hidden in the hull as well as a couple of ones here as well. Uh, just uh, well, these are of course, uh, well, they are normal missiles, yeah. Just some auxiliary normal missiles. Uh, to deal some damage continuously, we want to spread out our weapon systems a little bit here and there. Um, we've done some interesting shaping here to try and make it have a little bit more, more character. Um, while the cram cannons are a part of the outer armor, um, Iron Fist did point out that damn Jimmyism, it's very expensive outer armor we have here. And well, he's completely right about that. So I've actually, whoops, cutting, that's fine. I'll increase that a little bit. Not super heavily, but this is now basically two meters of metal backed with one layer of stone and just a tiny little bit of wood inside of there. And that should protect the cram cannons a little bit more at least. Not very much, but maybe enough for them to not be like waste of space. So I improved the side armor a little bit here, yeah. Right, uh, then we also have, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah, we're gonna take a look at the engines. Some people were wondering why the engines weren't very efficient and now they kinda are. Uh, so here we have this rack of engines going on here. And as you pointed out, sorry, I don't remember your name right now but it has been pointed out in the comments. Uh, please reveal yourself. Um, let's go to defense. Let's add some ECM jammers and just make them use all the power. All right. Very nice. So now we have now we're using all power. Uh, and inside here we have the not efficient engines. Here I've added these. And uh, we're, we are going to get time back to normal as well. So here we are. Full power. And uh, just building on this thing we can see here we have the inefficient type of engine um, it has a material cost 5000 it uh, outputs 15,000 energy so it's kind of much but it's only 414 uh, materials per um, yeah it's not efficient this these things however and half of them are blow water so that's good for armor uh, they have a power material efficiency of 1200, so basically four times as good. However, each one of these is only a, not even 500 power. I did, however, make an interesting little thing. And uh, trash bin recycler, which are added in the behind here. I've added a couple of them. Of them. And this little thing basically takes an input into the green one and inserts all those gases. No, it's the input, it's the, it's the red one, right? God damn it. Yeah, the input is the red one because that makes a lot of sense. It doesn't. Um, so the input goes into the red one and then we have a system with a lot of turbochargers and these engines have this efficiency of uh, if I can find the uh, 
power block thing. Maybe we can just go into it. Here, like uh, power material, 1070. So that's pretty good. Um, and it recycles all the, those gases. Could probably add some more when these big boys get taxed, but yeah. That's kind of how uh, it looks in the change front, the recent things that has changed or something like that. Come to think of it, it's possible we should have these at different directions. I'm not sure about that, but let's spread the launching mount pads to make sure they're good so they didn't get changed. That's all nice. Anyways, we are rebuilding the laser system. Let's remove these uh, to not... because the engines sound too much. God, what am I building on? Oh yes, the turret, of course. And we do not intend to use all the power all the time. Really, we really don't. Um, but we want a couple of the engines to get destroyed and still holding up the shields, which we haven't even added yet. Anyways, I'm trying to make a good laser, right? And from your comments, I've learned that we need some Q switches there to deal some deeper holes, or possibly a bigger laser system. And I've also got this fantastic idea to compartmentalize this thing. So I actually already added this and then I removed it so it wouldn't be too much that uh, changed. But basically, we're doing like this, yeah. And we need to find a good ratio between these laser cavities and the pumps. And before I had a little issue where I kind of had a different amounts of uh, laser pumps and cavities for different uh, you know areas, and this costs. This caused a lot of problems. This was an inefficient setup. We want our laser systems with only one Q switch to be symmetrical. Otherwise, we'll kind of have uh, some problems. Yeah, and I hope you don't mind the seabirds in the background. They, uh, they like it here. Um, so, this setup as it is, is kind of decently good. But I do intend to make them longer. Um, so, yeah, let me just do that and we can uh, fiddle with the laser cavities and stuff like that later. So, uh, give me a second and we'll be back. And uh, we might use the stabilizers and stuff like that. We'll see a little bit on what's going on. Yeah. Alright, so we are building our killer laser system here. I think I found a good ratio between pumps and cavities. So, uh, the weird thing about laser is uh, when we have a lot of cavities, cavities, I mean, when we have a lot of cavities, uh, the laser does huge damage, but uh, the reload is so slow, so the sustained damage is like super low. So this like sustained damage is 700, and this is like... Uh, 1920. So basically, um, this is a 3Q laser. If we fire them both like this, you see the green one just took out a lot of locks first, but then it just stops, but it's just so slow or recharging. And over time, this red laser is uh, actually better. Um, so we need a couple of cavities, but we don't need too many. Um, and yeah, uh, I got from my comments, uh, a lot of you wrote that I'll really need to use the the 4Q switch lasers. And I did some testing and uh, the 4Q switch lasers, they're good, they're good, sure. But this laser system is so huge, I'm actually gonna double this, it's already 82,000. And with the improved armor piercing value, uh, with a continuous laser. This is just so strong. 
And I did set up some stuff here so we have max uh, energy discharge uh, per second without the stabilizer. I removed the stabilizers. I don't, I don't think we'll need them. Maybe we need them. I'm not sure actually. I think we'll... yeah. And then we also have this little thing. If we go to the laser multipurpose laser, no, the laser combiner, laser settings, hold fire below 90%. I add that, kind of important, to deal some decent damage. And if I just run this laser, you can see it just melts through blocks here, especially metal. We can just negate metal, we just strip it off slowly like that. And I changed the AI to switch targets every two seconds for the AI I intend to set up at this. And its weakness is heavy armor. It takes a couple of seconds like that. So one, two. So it can only get... Uh, it's... Yeah. If we set it like... One, two. It's like uh, it won't get through. If we have a double layer of heavy armor, uh, we're in trouble. But we're if, uh, we're, if we're running up against metal, we can do some serious sustained damage like this. So, I'm actually thinking that we're gonna go with a continuous damage system uh, for this battleship. And as you already seen here, I did fill in these areas here. Right. And then we need to... We need to do a little uh, copy here, so a little prefab. Let's see here, gonna have a 3x3, three three, but it's gonna be so much more long. Okay, let's let's see if we, we can... Too long? Okay, like that, great. Boom, boom, boom. Right. Capture prefab now. Redo, and we can just plonk it down there, and there, and ooh, actually we need to remove some stuff here. You get my drift here, it's, uh, it's gonna be a big system. And I'll just need to have these here for the time of being to kind of remember where the inputs are, because I set these offset. You know, so we can remove them, and this little tower thing, I don't need that now, prefab mode, come on, it's like that, I think it was, wasn't it like this direction, it hardly matters, but, plonk, let us check. It doesn't matter. We're gonna change that anyways. Plonk. And since this is kind of expensive, we do wanna have some heavy armor in between uh, the lasers here. So we're actually gonna fill up with some HA right there. And that's interesting though. Yeah, well. I guess I'm gonna add these later. I'm just gonna remove some stuff here. Wait a minute. These ones are... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The other ones are like offset. And for these we don't even need a connector. We'll have them right on top of there. Laser transceiver not needed. Replace, da -da, and like that. All right, so I imagine that this system will be pretty powerful. Okay. You're full, you're full, okay. We're full here, we're full there, we're full here, we're full there. Very nice. I'm just wondering if it feels like... I'm not sure if we really got it there, did we? If we just do like that... 
three blocks. It seems to be three blocks high all along there. This as well, and there. Great. Then we just need to connect this thing up. So this laser system will be like a 200,000 block system. And we can get a pretty heavy, meaty APS for that as well. But, um, I don't know. I want to I wanna try my uh, wings on the lasers a little bit, to be quite honest. So, of course, we're just going to set this up for some testing. There we go, that one. And that one can't be... Ooh. And this is a mess. Alright. So if I set that up there, I can have that here. Then I can have that there and that there. I'll see if there is a better way to make these connections later. But we'll see. Because right now, okay, now we have those two connected, right? And this, maybe we can just take this output regulator and put a little bit higher up. Yeah. And if we just finish this side, yeah. Connected. That one is connected. That one is connected. <laughs> that won't connect. So something along these terms. This is of course just for testing. This is don't worry. This is not my real turret. I wouldn't do that. There we got that one connected and this one connected and maybe we can have one for the time of being down here. In case we can two here, two there. We need another one here as well. Ugh. God. The these are a little bit of a mess sometimes. Uh 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 And this should work, shouldn't it? No? Because that one connected to that one, right. And I can't make them Oh, it connects from the side, doesn't it? Yeah, we can actually put it on the side there. That's good. But then this thing gets without any juice. And that's no good. If I add that one there... Maybe I can add... That one here... Oh no... Okay, <clears throat> I don't know why I put you through that. That's uh, that's interesting. Now we got the temporary little setup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, ten rods like this. One thousand, one hundred and sixty, five thousand and seventy materials. That's a lot, my boys. And we go in here, and oh yeah. What does it do now? Well, the first like little blast. Oh, why is it? it pop, pop, beep, pop. No materials. Oh no. <laughs> All right, here we go. Come on, laser. Pop, pop, pop. Oh yeah, that just melts through it. it. Melts through heavy armor pretty easily too. Wow. Yeah, yeah, boy, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, stop it, Jimotism, you're being cringy. So, anyways, that's that's kind of uh, what we're going with, yeah? I think we are going with this type of laser system. It feels really powerful, um, and I don't know, maybe we should try and make a QQ switch, but if we should do that uh, you'll have to convince me in the comments because I think this seems like a pretty pretty darn good setup now you're being a cringy American Jimmyism stop it come on but anyways um, that's kind of uh, what I thought about for this little thing 
So, we are closing this thing off. Uh, you can notice it has free air inside of here. Uh, we do have a little bit of uh, protection from there. Um, we do we do protect it. And yeah. And possibly we should add destabilizers, but I think it uses up the energy fast enough for sure. Um, we might also want to make it so that the uh, the percentage per second is kind of lower in this menu. Energy discharge percentage per second. So we kind of get a higher sustained damage for a while after it kind of goes down to uh, limited power mode. Alright, 50,000 power needed. Yeah. We might actually need more engines on this thing because it isn't supposed to tax everything. Uh, and I might want to have a lamb system as well. So it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's getting pretty, pretty big. It's getting pretty big. Yeah, and then I wonder a little bit inside of here. Um, we should probably add like this, right? Oh, yeah. Maybe we should have some era or something inside of here, but I know these Aplex uh, don't have a problem when it comes to leaking for EMP and stuff like that. So that's, it can be a smart idea to have some extra going on here. Right, like that. Ugh. It looks so ugly, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Like, the side you shoot this from doesn't matter. I don't know if it matters if they're flat like this, to be honest. But, uh, even though it might not matter, it's unacceptable to me. In my aesthetic sense, it says no. You can't do that. So, we're gonna fill in with applics that are what are you doing here? No. So, okay. We should be able to lock this here, yeah? It should be locked. And it's locked here. Okay. Did it? No, okay. Now it works. Good. Like that. Right. And, uh, yeah. I'm not going to rebuild this entire hall, if you're wondering. I know some people, <coughs> Iron Fist, wants me to rebuild this entire hull because it isn't good enough. But I like my ship and I, I'm gonna flesh it out with some systems and, you know, I hope it will, uh, it will be able to win a honest, decent battle here. Yeah, so uh, I, I also want to add a little auxiliary, um, another auxiliary, it's like I only have auxiliary systems and a laser, but I do want to add a little, little extra auxiliary missile system that fires small missiles, uh, just in a nice little continuous pattern, just to spread out the damage types a little bit. Um, and of course, we're, we need to make a really meaty, good um, laser pointer. So I kind of want to have it all connected up to... It's like one or two turrets, I suppose. We're gonna see how we do it a little bit there, but yeah. Now we just need to have the things pointing downwards to connect them up. Uh, so that can be added in a much more compact way, for sure. Um, and we can have several turrets too. I I'm gonna think a little bit about how exactly I want to... Where exactly I want and don't want to have turrets. So, um, yeah. I shall be doing right that. 
Right, so checking in here, we have closed this off, um, heightened it up, and we are starting to create this super structure. And uh, from seeing this build from before, you can see this pattern I'm uh, particularly happy about. Uh, but from seeing like this ship in its earlier stages, you might have assumed that we would want to go for a very um, flat kind of battleship thing. And we're not. We're gonna have a fairly high and fairly spacious and fairly big superstructure because of the fact that we want to have a lot of different aim points that the enemy can aim at. So basically we're gonna have a bunch of fluff on top of this thing and it will effectively aim point uh, aim pointly enough protect the lower parts of this ship a little bit but of course we don't want to make it so that we block any turrets and we need to make sure that our main turret our main barges are still having their uh, full potential and full output of course but that's that's basically that we'll set up uh, some stuff here so you can see it's it's uh, it's looking nice and all um, I also fleshed out the underside a little bit, put on some nice shapes here, so we're a little bit more uh, ready here. Um, we basically, um, yeah, well, we basically just added um, wood and stuff like that down here, uh, which we are continuing to do, just so we get that shape here. You can see it's uh, it's basically finished here. So I'm gonna do uh, just fix this little thing here, maybe a little bit too long, and we're just gonna like close off this shape here, so we can kind of get. Yeah, it won't be, it won't be like pedantic if you were looking for that, but I don't think you were because then I don't think you would have been uh, watching this channel very much to be honest because we're not this is not our strong side <laughs> we like to do things a little bit uh, quickly sometimes not like super quickly but like this I think this is good enough uh, I think it has a pretty nice round shape there and here we have a little auxiliary engine. It's important to have different spread out auxiliary engines and stuff like that. I do think that this area will be kind of closed off. I don't see myself adding very much down here. Possibly we are going to move the ammo here. Uh, so we have like more of the ammo compartments in wood and areas that don't really matter matter because that's smart oh uh, whoops something like that all right and this thing complains of course it does so I guess we are going to put up up open it up oh no that's several never mind we are going to pom uh, pom. No, do like that. And we're just gonna have a simple hold, to be honest. That's fine. Does this only have one exhaust? I think it only has one exhaust. Okay, good. And the same for the other side. Great. And to not be complete, uh, what what to say? Not to be complete. I don't know something bad we do want to have uh, these and they don't get colored when we change the wood stuff here so I'll just re-add them there I know it's a minor detail but I just want them to look decent wherever they are this wood too yeah let's change that as well Good, okay. So, uh, the undersides are a little bit fleshed out there. That's fantastic. 
That is of course not completely done yet. I feel that this can be an area we can add a ammo box probably. Like that. Maybe like here. If we blow this ammo box up, what happens? We need to test that. Because the more ammo we use, the higher explosive radius it will be. And it will remove like those blocks there. Yeah, okay. That's not too bad. So this has, uh, I think we actually can add a double ammo box here, which means we need to add it here as well. So I just, I just don't want it to damage the engine here. And it doesn't damage anything important, it just, it just makes a hole. Which is great. Okay, that's a good place for that ammo too. Right. So, it's taking shape, I believe. The, the laser system is real scary for sure, but I'll need to make a turret of this thing. So, I'm gonna build a little bit and see where I can draw these lines and see where we're gonna set up the turret. And I haven't completely decided if we're gonna go with one or two turrets with a laser on them. Yeah. Right, so we are in the process of building the turrets here. You can see I fleshed out some more upper deck armor here. Um, I have this little interesting compartment where they are lined up in a beautiful way, like this. And I just realized that if we wanna connect them up all to the same turret, we can't, we can't. We'll need to divide it up. If we want to have two turrets, we need to divide it up. So like super sad, if I connect both of these, you can see it has no energy available because this steals all of it. So, um, I've been thinking a little bit and redundancy is always uh, what usually makes more sense, to be honest. So we are going to divide up the laser systems uh, so that they will use, well, so that they will be divided up. So right here, I think we are going to connect up that there. And we're gonna remove that. And we can fill in that for the, for good measure. All right. And now we have two separate laser systems that should be equal in terms of how they work and both has power. Okay, that works. Anyways, uh, that's, that is what we could do. We are going to protect these a little bit, of course. So we're gonna slap on some heavy armor around these blocks. Um, we don't have to, we can probably do like this. From behind is less likely. And then we'll just slap on some three by three because if this if this get killed, the entire thing is like wasted. So that's why we are why we are so serious about these armor. And just to make sure, we are going to put some ERA around them in case we, you know get in contact with some deep penetrating system like that which can be very fatal indeed right so these turret blocks uh, we should protect them a little bit more of course but yeah in case we face some heat shells or something like that this should indeed be okay right uh, we have some empty space here uh, since they both work, we're just gonna s fill in that with a little slab of heavy armor here, like that. And we're really wide, so we should still be decently stable, I think. Alright, maybe this is good. And since heavy armor works as some kind of superconductor nowadays, we have added a little bit of uh, EMP protection inside of here so they won't pester our uh, uh, laser components because some of these are uh, EMP susceptible not all of them but some of them thankfully not this thing but yeah 
So that's that's how it works. Uh, and we're gonna flesh out these turrets and build them a little bit. And yeah, they seem... I'm, I'm pretty happy with it so far. You know what? I think that this compartment can be filled up. And it's actually enough with this alt block. We'll just fill that area there. And it should be protected, very much so. Alright. So, building laser turrets is something I have never done before. Uh, I guess we should only have one output, because otherwise the damage would be divided up. And we of course need to have them at different elevations. So this one can perhaps be a little bit higher. And I'm suppose I suppose I want to make them pretty flat turrets. So it only has to be like one, two, three blocks above, I think. Like that. Is it that? maybe one more? Because then I can use a full full beam to get to the top there. All right, and I know not too much about laser turrets, um, to be honest. This is new to me. So we're gonna go with uh, laser optics. They focus the beam, decreasing damage loss with distance. And here we have laser optics placed in front of the laser, increasing the field of fire of the laser. So uh, they have as much health. So I suppose we can add the the steering bits that's the wrong direction oh yeah of course I need a laser combiner all right so here we have a laser combiner good and I imagine we can just make a paste block thing so we just slap it over the other one and it should kind of work so I imagine that we need steering op or optics um, firing arc what? Alright. So the more we add, the less they can move. One block of these has 60 degrees. And if we just if we just add a decent length like this. I don't know how long they should be, but I want us to be uh, damage at 2000 meter. Damn, that's not much. Yeah, okay. Damage at 70, okay. If we were like over 80%, a thousand meters, 70. This is a good length, I think, okay. Here we have the steering object. Okay, so firing arc, six degrees. 18 degrees. Maybe like, it ain't gonna be higher than 18 degrees, okay. Point taken. Whoops. All right, this is the optimal setup then, I guess. So one thing we need more is of course a, a laser output regulator, because we ain't got one of those. Uh, energy discharge, yep, I do believe this is the thing. It's continuous, so um from my very little testing i think we should basically just let it be and i think that this should basically be a heavy armor slab thing a little bit um supposedly so what what happens if we just if we just make this little heavy armor slab thing um I don't know, of course, but I imagine we could do something like this and we would have a really low chance of our lasers getting hit, right? If we just have it like this. It would kind of make sense. And since we want it to be low profile, we're just going to use heavy armor. Um, like some of my earlier methods of being uh, maybe not so, um, maybe a little bit more bulky and stuff like that. Like this ship is generally super bulky too, uh, but my my approach is usually to make stuff bulky so that they can take the damage more like. And of course I'm 
I don't know if that's a good strategy. I kind of imagine it is. And I've seen some great examples like that enormous wooden thing that killed the broadsword. That's a good example of uh, that bulk can be king. But yeah. We're just adding some stuff there. And yeah, I don't know. Maybe something like this. Um, we should probably make sure this even works. Um, if I just have a little control thing right here and get spawned here. Oh no! Okay. Uh, we can't shoot. It shoots off its own blocks right now. That's not too good. Or does it? It's only if we get really close, right? Thank you. Okay, it's a little bit dangerous. Eh. Uh, yeah. So, if we just extend the armored optics to kind of that degree, it might be fine, yeah? Something like that. Okay. Right, this seems to be a working component. I wonder if we can put glass in front of it. I mean, uh, I think that this layer, this, this laser is probably so dangerous that it kind of shoots through, but I have to test it. Okay, it doesn't work. Um, it could have worked if the glass was really polished and really clear. It could have worked. <laughs> Alright. Um, let me check these components here. Um, do we have... Is anything of this like EMP susceptible? Lamps node R. I don't think in the optics they're not really. We can. I think we should have some basic EMP protection in this turret, but it's not strictly needed to be honest. Um, and for this thing, we are going to uh, just make a simple heavy armor core thing like this. I think it's gonna be. Ooh, should we have like one block? No, let's make it. Anyways, this is like one block above. Okay. It can be another block above. Okay, good. I uh, just want to make sure it fits together. And I just. I'm gonna make this cube, right? And we're gonna go into this thing. Uh, wait, so this, this, laser settings, right, we need to select uh, some stuff here, let's have a nice round number of seven, we're gonna make it, I wanna make an orange laser, so it's kind of fiery and pretty big, hold fire below energy, right, this thing should be at 90 or something like that, to keep some sustained good damage there. I think this will be decent, to be honest. I do hope, at least. And since this is our main turret, we cannot afford to lose it. So we are basically going to have... We're going we're gonna to have a good steady H beam of heavy armor. Like that. <laughs> and we're going to have... Just fill in with some metal there. And we're gonna shape out this turret here to just have some. But, oh god, I just hate that shape here. I'm gonna remove those blocks. And we are going to make it a roundish turret. Because I like my roundish turrets. And the outer layer of this thing, um, which will also apply to one block above, will be like everything else good here in life. Ring from the depth. Metal. We're gonna add, add some metal here. So I'm going to design a round shape with metal uh, and we're gonna have a cap here. So this this metal will actually get huge bonus from um, like 
armor stacking just because you know yeah you know how it works but yeah now is the question we can't make it completely disky yeah I'll be back very soon all right we have fleshed out some turret here and I just realized that this type of barrel is just too ugly uh, I'm sorry about decreasing like efficiency and stuff like that so we have a bigger hit point area with everything but uh, I kind of think I want my laser turret look like this regular flat barrel nothing advanced just just like this yeah I, th I think this just <laughs> it has a superior look so anyways here we have a big it says Okay, Gmodism, it's okay. We can hear the we can hear the in-game sounds. You don't have to. Okay, good. So I don't know. I think this is a decent turret, and we should be able to copy that one over to that. So let's actually try and do that now. Um, I think it's good. I think it's set up. I think I did everything correctly, which I probably didn't, but we have to start somewhere. And hopefully we can beat Borderwise uh, Titan Slung when we added some more systems because it will be very powerful, but hopefully um, We have a chance. We'll see about that though. All right, bonk And let's see here. Donk, donk, donk. There. Oh, yeah, exactly And then we of course will need to Plonk down some of these Ah, whatever. Let's just make it a thick slab like that. Okay, cool. Ooh, and uh, yeah, exactly. And I think actually we should protect... We don't need to paint now. We should protect this area too. It's like five wide, but we probably want to have a little heavy armor ring around the turret base as well. Because if we get shot off and stuff, that will be really fatal. And we will be very sad indeed. Alright. Add as many full ones as I can. And I can fill in the rest as we go. Five is a weird thing in From the Depth. Like, it's... Eh not an even round nice number at all we'll add these as silly support legs they look super silly I almost only want them because they look silly but they should do something I don't know I think maybe I'm over armoring my uh, my lasers but I would just be so sad if they die or should I say when they die because it's like <sighs> everything breaks sooner or later oh I just realized uh, we haven't put on any uh, <laughs> AI on this thing <laughs> we need to have weapon controllers mate and we're gonna have all-in-one local weapon controllers inside here all right and let's see her receiver uh, which channel does it send to I think it's channel 2 let's set it up for channel 2 and we can check later now it's inside of here there we go receiver channel 2 go down to fast channel 2 that's correct all right very nice now which I haven't done in a very long time we should save this build god damn it I'm glad the game didn't crash I would have been so sad so uh, let us just let us just lo ro load a little crossbones for testing Ah. It has shit detection, by the way. It's 
so don't blame it too much. Ah. Oh. Now, I think I need to set it up a little bit more properly here. There is something about it that makes it... Oh, do we have too little engine power? Because when I shoot it manually, it doesn't pulse like this. I kind of like it though. If it if it pulses with like full damage, that's good. Maybe it's weird. Maybe it just doesn't work in like. Uh, yeah, maybe it just doesn't work in multi. Need not multiplayer. Like when you're controlling them manually, maybe it only works when you control them uh, by uh, AI. Because I want them to pulse like this. I don't want them to shoot all along. Yeah, well, it kills the crossbones fairly quick, quickly enough. I like my lasers. Oh, beautiful lasers. How expensive is this system, anyways? It's technically two systems now. Come on. 82,000 times two. Yeah, two systems, technically. So, uh, before we end this little video, I think we should spawn in the stronghold because we like to try against it. And there we go. So let us let us see uh, what types of damage it does. Are we far away? Thousand meters. So we're definitely at a, like reduced damage. I think the shields is protecting it recently well. Uh yeah. Hmm, maybe I should, maybe I need to go over to Q-switches. It's like it's... It doesn't have time to deal the damage, you know? It's not a stable... Oh, I probably, I need to test this when I have actually made some proper detection going on here. Because it's, now it's just uh, making its best guesses, to be honest. Well, anyways, we're slowly frying components. Um, the stronghold is down to 94%. We're looking really sad. But that's more the looks. Because the this is just the outside part of the armor. Is any system severely damaged, I wonder? Ooh, that was a pretty bad hit, but it didn't do much good. Good god. Oh, here we got the bad hit. But it only damaged some engine. Yep. Cool. So we're like 1.2 million. Um, we need to invest in some more damage dealing. But this battleship is... Well, it's, it's starting to get uh, better and better. We are slowly actually getting a build that is reasonable, I think. Well, well, um, that's up to you to decide in the comments section. I hope you like my lasers. Uh, if not, well, that's too sad, but uh, yeah. Poor crime systems in the front. Also, tell me what other weapon systems you think I should have. I imagine putting on some APS systems on it. Um, and stuff like that. And yeah. See you next video. This is your host, Jim Odesen. And we're signing out. Bye-bye.